I'm an Associate Professor Helen Stratton, I'm a microbiologist. I work at Griffith Uni. We do research into water pathogens, water microbes, new technologies, so looking at water quality as well. AIS reached out to us. They had um, noticed that we had done some work on swimming pool water disinfection before. So from there we've built a partnership on looking at their technology, testing their technology in the lab and we've built the project together. How the salt chlorinators work, it converts salt to free chlorine and the free chlorine is the disinfectant. What's different about the AIS technology is what their electrodes are made from. We've been looking at their technology in the field and we've compared their technology to liquid chlorine and granular chlorine pools. So the parameters we tested were pH, chlorine levels, total dissolved solids and salinity and calcium concentrations in the water. So if the water chemistry is balanced, there's an assumption that the microbial content of the water is safe. So that means your disinfection's working. So in the field study, what we found was the water chemistry balance in the AIS pools was superior. The pool with the AIS technology actually had 100% days that the water was balanced. Liquid chlorine, about 50, 60% of the time the water was balanced. And for granular chlorine, down as low as 20% of the time the water was balanced. So the implications of that, longer term, the water needs to be replaced more often. With the AIS technology, that's where the water savings come in. They do not need to exchange your water as often as the other chlorine delivery methods. The impact on the environment is in the water savings. So as we know, Australia is a dry country and we are always trying to save our water. Globally, water scarcity is a big issue. So in an average 50 metre pool, you could save up to 70 kilolitres a day that water saving would be converting to about $40,000 a year in an average 50 metre pool, so just in one pool. So if you think of a city, say of 100 pools, and you converted from granular chlorine to AIS technology, that's up to $4 million a year. And they will save having to put chemicals into their water as well. And environmentally, that's a big impact.